Oh, it's time to get spooked because we're talking about the 10 best horror games for 2015! I promise I'll never talk like that again. Let's get started with number 10. Dollhouse's plot is centered on the mind of a therapist suspended from his job, a lonely housewife, and a disturbed young child. Each of their lives is conveniently interconnected, and it's up to the player to decide how everything plays out in a non-linear, self-driven horror experience. Sounds cool, right? It looks creepy as hell. Number 9. Yes, there's a new Call of Cthulhu game, haven't you heard? This one's developed by Frogwares and Focus Home Interactive, and it's the latest horror game in a long-running series developed by old-school author H.P. Lovecraft. It's based on the pen and paper RPG of the same name that many of you guys know and love, but we don't really know anything else besides that. But we do know we're pretty excited. Number 8. The Forest is a weird, terrifying survival horror game set in a lush and beautiful forest environment. It's basically an open-ended, open-world survivor game, kind of like DayZ or Stranded Deep or something like that, but you're fighting off creepy, weird humanoid monsters. As always in these games, you're the lone survivor of a plane crash, and you find yourself in the forest battling these guys. They're kind of like cannibalistic mutants, and they're really creepy. This could be a really good blend of two genres. Number 7. Outlast 2 is the sequel to, you guessed it, Outlast. We really don't know anything about Outlast 2 other than the fact that it exists and it's being developed once again by Red Barrel Games. Will we find ourselves in an asylum again or maybe a new setting? Eh, who knows? But judging by the whistleblower DLC, it looks like Red Barrel Games is really looking to take their franchise into new directions. Here's hoping we find out more about it soon. Number 6. Yeah, Doom makes this list because fuck you, Doom. I don't know. Doom's more of a first-person shooter, but it embraces horror tropes, and the original was pretty creepy. It remains to be seen how scary id Software will make this game, but we're counting on Doom to be absolutely awesome and visceral and gory and disgusting. Number 5. Until Dawn is a true horror experience in the vein of horror movies like Scream and Nightmare on Elm Street. Players step into the shoes of eight terrified friends trapped in a mountain retreat where a deranged killer is on the loose. Sounds pretty basic and awesome, right? As much as you hear this in horror movies all the time, we don't really see this in games, so it'll be interesting to play. Number 4. Originally released as Fatal Frame Oracle of the Sodden Raven, <laughs> Sorry. Fatal Frame 5 is finally slated to release somewhere other than Japan sometime this year. Like previous games in the series, players are equipped with a magical camera that allows them to exercise ghosts. And it's really, really creepy! I don't even like looking at gameplay for this one. Number 3. Soma is a new science fiction horror game from the makers of Amnesia and Penumbra. Set for release in 2015, Soma takes players down the cursed corridors of an underwater remote research facility in which machines take on human characteristics. Ooh, sounds so creepy. It honestly sounds like a mix of a lot of different things like System Shock and Bioshock and just horror games. And we're always down for a good science fiction horror game, so sign us up for Soma. Number 2. Routine is set aboard an abandoned moon base, and it promises to deliver us scares through its procedurally generated environments. Your job as the player is to find enough data to uncover the truth behind the strange disappearance of everyone who disappeared on the Lunar Research Station. And yeah, it sounds a little generic, but look at the gameplay trailer. It looks pretty cool, and graphically gorgeous. Number 1. Silent Hills, you knew it would make number one. Developed by Metal Gear's Hideo Kojima and Hollywood's Guillermo del Toro, Silent Hills is the latest sequel in the Silent Hill series of games. It was first promoted by that awesome PT demo on PS4 that you all played and shit your pants for. And Silent Hills definitely looks like it's gonna make us poop our pants, and it's got Norman Reedus in it, who's pretty cool. After the PT demo release, we haven't really heard too much from this game, but it definitely looks exciting. It seems like it can really shake up Silent Hill in a good way, and we can't wait. So those are the 10 horror games of 2015. Pretty spooky, right? We tried to include a lot of games on this list that maybe you haven't heard of, and some that you're obviously really excited for. So with that, let us know in the comments which horror games you're excited for the most. Let's talk about it! And as always, liking this video really helps us out, especially now that we hit 15,000 subscribers. And speaking of that, subscribing is even better, because we do videos like this and we do giveaways. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.